dominating the game. Well, once again, both lineups locked in here. Agents, you got to cheer for a Blacklist International if you want them to get the one. Even it out one to one here against Geek Fam after what we saw from the previous game as we go into the land of Dawn in game number two. All right, starting this off 0 1. Geek Fam in the lead. Can they do it again, Renmar? Well, they have the lineup for it, but this time it's not going to be as one sided uh, in the early game as we saw from game number one. Blacklist International have the right tools to sort of mitigate or minimize the damage that a snowballing geek fam can potentially dish out. But as we were talking <laughs> about earlier here, you're already seeing aggression from the two roamers. Now Renegade feels a little bit more comfortable going a little bit deeper behind enemy lines. And Boloyski's just continuing what he did from game number one. Yeah, I mean, you can't do this on an Angela, right? So yeah. <laughs> in a way, like you said, he's going to be half heel man, half hit man. And that's what he's doing on this Matilda. Putting the pressure there on Nile, But real quick, too, as nothing's happening too much, emblem-wise, Renmar, take us through it. All right, uh, oh, doesn't feel like there's anything to do. Oh, there we go, there we go. There's the TP party we're looking for. Now still will get his purple buff. Uh -oh. But hey, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy, in a little bit of trouble. Ren and Jay not going to commit to try to get those hits. Probably wouldn't have been able to do enough damage, but Blacklist already so aggressive compared to last game, and this yep. is what we wanted to see from him. Yep. And you hear the agents. It's thunderous right now. Boloyski will not be able to take the buff away. Niall still pressured. Marky too. Marky pressured. Oh, here we go. Every lane right now. Geek fam's feeling the pressure this Black. time around. Blacklist all. Oh, Boloyski. Oh. Very low. Should go oh. down here. Brings out the wall. No. Oh. Edward finds the kill. A nice play. Geek fam now trying to recover here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> First blood drawn here by Blacklist. Yeah, going back to the emblem real quick. Actually, we saw the double movement speed feet emblems. Yes, that's the way to say it now. This is how the kids say it. Boloyski on Boloyski's Grasso. So really, he wants to apply the pressure, move fast. Um, we don't see that as often now, but with that Grok and how you want to play, nope. that's the right call. Ooh, you takes a wild charge. Boloyski oh! able to take the turtle. They're going to back off. That's going to recover them a little bit after that first blood for the side of Blacklist. But the fight still goes. And we're in a little bit of trouble. Going to get taken out. Luke picks up the kill. Geek Fam responding back. Yeah, looked like a little bit of a miscalculation there by Blacklist International. Now here comes the pressure by Geek Fam. Can Sensui defend his purple buff? Now they're going to try to go for this. Niall oh. is able to take it. They get the stun on a Sensui, and Niall walks away scot free. Wow. Once again, you know, Geek Fam biting back here, given the whole situation. So they find a way to even garner themselves a small lead here. Yeah, wild charge there right on time. And it looked like in that uh, last one after that first turtle. Looked like Blacklist, or at least Edward, wanted to commit, but Blacklist looked like they didn't want to full commit, so he goes down. They lose that control around the center of the map with a key figure going down, and then that means Sensui was um, open for the invade. So again, Geek Fam is just continuing their playstyle and trend from game number one. Blacklist International are matching it, but now we're seeing one of the strengths of Geek Fam. They're so good at those post-engagement uh, team fight, the counter go, as we call it. Just when you think that teams say, hey, they won't counter go in this scenario, Geek Fam will say, hey, we do, and we'll make it work. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Oh, bottom side, Edward. A little bit of damage on Edward, gonna get stunned up. The appraisal's wrath, and Edward is smashed down. Luke picks up the kill. Boloyski now in a little bit of trouble. Renning J, the hitman, trying to take him out. Undercover in the enemy jungle. Can he get the final hit? No, Renning J decides oh, back oh. gonna get pulled back in. A oh, boy, and a little bit of chip damage, but both teams disengage. So now we're seeing here Geek Fam's adjustment. Luke is playing out of his mind here, folks. He is taking it to Edward, and at the same time, Geek Fam are committing rotations into the XP lane because they know that when you're up against Blacklist International, one of the things you do is not just in the draft, but in game, make sure that Agent Zero has a difficult time because then that means the rest of Blacklist International will also struggle. Yeah, still, Turtle going to be up here, but Whiskey. Boyski, maybe in a little bit of trouble, does not have the wild charge. Oh! Full barrage comes out. Oh, have towards the flicker back. Now Luke with the bravest fighter. Locks on. On to you. Going to keep him at bay. Sensu wants to look for a way in. Trying to find an angle. Edward with the penalty zone on top of Luke. Luke oh! gets the stun. Looking for Uwe. Luke! Can't flicker out Nile. Able to still secure it. And Luke gets away safely. Geek fam playing out of their minds right now. Woo! Stone cold. It's Luke. 
Man, uh, we talked about his pickups, uh, what hero you would give him two games in a row on this Labu Labu, and he's playing so he's well. Still going. Still going. What? In a bad spot, is this dangerous? He goes down. Renny J, the hitman, finds the kill. Maybe got a little too confident there. Yeah. I thought you were going to go Stone Cold Luke Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. The glass shattering performance by the EXP laner of Geek Fam. <laughs> hey, at one point, again, oh. <laughs> That's a guiding win if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Ooh, but Beloisky wants to try to catch him oh, off. No. He's going to look for Oheb here. Gets oh. well charged and down. Goes Oheb. Randy J trying to run away here. Beloisky and a boy put out the wall. They're going to back off. Okay. Now, we see here Geek Fam are actually playing in bursts, and that's what we see with how Beloisky uh, built the emblem onto this rock and how he's playing it. And again, here's another burst of go by Geek Fam, but Nile. Nile a little bit of trouble. Oh, oh, the appraisers wrath him down. Luke once again. Oh, he's gonna get pinned to the wall. Beloisky, though, Do it. start working on the tower. Luke still zoning them away. He gets a stun on it, too. Trying Luke, to get some whoa. more damage down. Gets some shield, but he finally falls to full barrage. Oh, 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 and he's knocked on to several members. A lot of damage, a boy, unable to get away today. Two for zero. Geek fam starts to decline. It wasn't a full barrage, it was a guiding full barrage. Yeah, a guiding full barrage, a the flying GFB. barrage, the <laughs> GFB. That's the first time I've seen that, folks. That I am speechless. That was cool. <laughs> it looks better than even the flicker, right? So, yeah. hey, they made it work again. There's a back and forth, but still, Geek fam, Leading by a little bit, 1.3k ahead. Blacklist International still two, trying to find their first turret of the game. Once again, they don't want to be in the same situation for the previous game, right? They've got no space to work around with just yet. But it looks like they actually want to go ahead and contest this objective. Third turtle, Luke jumps in. Luke continues to zone them away, keeping Blacklist at bay here. Niall getting free zoning onto this turtle. We'll be able to get that free, gonna put them a little bit ahead, but definitely Blacklist, we've seen them respond, we've seen their team fight potential here, but Geek Fam does not want to let their foot off the gas right now. Niall gonna try to steal this orange buff. It's a 50-50 right there, oh, Blowski oh. with the wild charge, and he flickers out. Oh, oh wait, what? the penalty zone locks on. Wait, no, a boy here, ready oh, to help him fight out. Another Colt Altar, another Nether Realm, and now Boy on the run. But here comes Niall along with Marky, getting three shots down. It's a full on 5v5 oh! and full barrage. The response! Go! Down goes a Boy! Miloyski forced to try to get away with a flicker of health. Sentui is there, Niall gonna try to help his teams. They're still the going! Uay. They don't want to let him get away. Oh, head there, hey! Niall falls! Blacklist International trying to take the game back. Folks, this is the matchup we expected. Geek Fam and Blacklist International are putting on a show. Ooh, and here comes Geek Luke's Fam again. still going, stone cold as ever. Oh! Bowman, able to dance around, no! Luke finds the kill, he wants more. Edward now on the run, he's gonna get pulled back by the Shadow Sampede. You as well, Marky. Marky! Gets the shot! Geek Fam, the game is back and forth, but they're not gonna let this one go. Oh, just take it in again, back and forth. The pendulum swings between these two teams. And just when Blacklist International finds a couple wins, Geek Fam bites back. Woo. Geek Fam, Woo. how they're playing here. We've, gi we've given flowers to Blacklist International. We gotta give the flowers back again to Geek Fam. Luke 316, I baptize you with Bravest <laughs> Fighter, but he who is mightier than I is coming, and that is the rest of Geek Fam. Time and time again, their condition for team fighting is the Bravest Fighter. Those three hits sending back Blacklist, Geek Fam says, it's like you can hear them shots while Baloichi's going, go, go, guys, go, <laughs> go, just go for it. Hey, it works. Right? It works. It's great. No matter, just like the great uh, Rocky Balboa says, no matter how many times you get hit, it's all about how you keep getting back up. And Luke right now exactly. willing to take punches to the face time and time again, but he always hits back harder. Lord now down to about 18,000. Sensui trying to keep the vision on it. Edward and Rena J showing up as well. Bloisky sent about half health. They're going to dance for this one. Watch oh. for Marky oh, making reset. his way around, and Lord will reset. Okay, Lord gonna go ahead and reset here. Both teams getting a situation. Once again, Blacklist International. Space-wise, they don't have anything, right? They have to just play to the tune of the fact that Geek Fam owns more, basically, real estate around the map. 
And that's the difficult part, especially when you get to this point, right? Lord's gonna be up here. How do you find the space you wanna work with? Reda Jay's trying Woo. to force yeah. something, but once again, Geek Fam will not fall, fall for it. Lord now less than half health. A big knock up on a sensory there. A boy and the rest of the gang, the rest of the fam. Playing this slowly, they got faith in Niall. They think he can get the 50-50. As long as the rest of the team is kept away, Renny J look for oh. an angle, but Niall oh. finds it. Geek Fam might want to try to force the fight. I think it might be better if they just back off. Blacklist, Masui. now want to go. Big penalty zone by Edward. On to Pasensui, going to get the pin. Blacklist using the Nether Realm. Two Nether Realms. The fight still continues. Geek Fam out. Renna J forced to flicker away. Geek Fam now has the oh. advantage. Luke finds Yue. Once again, he's going to keep on going in. Beloisky there as well to have his back. Nice terrifying on Niall, but Niall's gonna back up. They're just gonna take the purple buff and, got, and take what they came for. Big brain Beloy, that wild charge. Stop Blacklist, set them up for what could have been a big win for Geek Fam. They weren't able to get kills, but at the end of the day, they got the Lord. A surprising call there by Geek Fam, specifically Niall, to just rush it to the point where Sensui wasn't even in retribution range, and I don't think even him, him, he expected that Geek Fam would rush it, take that Lord just like that, then go forward systematic aggression. Geek Fam are just continuing that again, but now if you look at the items, up to a malefic roar already. Is this Bruno? Three core items locked in, but Oheb really close. Sea Halberd, DHS, Corrosion Scythe, both marksmen still very close here. And despite of being a 5k gold team, do, these two teams already have their conditions. Two, one, Geek Fam, go for a stomping lead, Blacklist International to find a turnaround. Once again, they'll be able to deal with this Lord quickly as they did. It was the first one of the game. They'll clear the lanes here too. But again, at this point, this kind of feels like that moment when you know when you're playing games and you have your teammates yelling at you like push, push, push. Because still, no turrets down, nowhere to work with. So you're wondering, right? Blacklist International, where do we find this movement? Where do we find the space? Where do we find the space to rotate? Who is that gonna be, right? Is it we wait for Oheb to be full glass cannon on this Ixia pick and work out here because even Beloisky, look how much damage he's just tanking up. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm also looking at it as how much damage Blacklist International can deal now. Uh, Yue is up there in terms of being able to deal the damage, and that's something that the front line of Geek Fam are respecting. So now we, we've seen Beloisky and Luke be actually just like constantly like going to the front line, uh, really trying to bake out, bait out things from the side of uh, Blacklist International. But every time they do it, it seems like the more it happens, the more health we see them losing. So at some point, that might, it, might get, it might hit critical mass and then suddenly Geek Fam are just going to be surprised. It's like, wait, we've gotten the vision, we've sent them back, but now we have to go back ourselves. Oh, Blacklist International gets to find a way to turn it around. That's something they have to watch out for. Now they're really Beloisky. playing around this Matilda as well, of course. But uh, Beloisky is doing work, man. He's everywhere he needs to be on this Grok. Something else important to point out, the Beloisky curse is over. He hasn't died seven times at all in the past two <laughs> games. Yep. And he has been moving. Even now, he knows his advantage. He knows as long as he can keep his passive proc, it's going to be so hard for Blacklist to try to catch him off guard. And he can just stay in front of their faces right now. Ah. Slower pace now for these two teams as they just play for macro. Blacklist International finally breaking that turret up top. Let's see if this is going to be a full commit. They want to go for oh, it, actually. Niles go for alone, it. actually. Penalty zone with the flicker from Edward. Locks on to Niall. Niall oh. instantly gone, a boy. Brings out the nether realm. We want to try to help his friend, but he won't be able to save oh, the boy. day. Loisky from the side with a wild charge. to knock up onto Edward. Luke into the back side with the Brave Spider. Looking for Oheb. Gets a stun. The wait. The damage oh. is unloading. And Loisky goes down. Luke. Now it's Luke against the world. Marky looking for some free shots. No way Luke goes down. Oh. Slow as well. Black oh. Oh! To turn the game around and take the second Lord. It doesn't matter if you don't have any turrets, you're down multiple thousands of gold. It only takes the one team fight, and Blacklist did it. Like the Viper returning in Survivor Series from out of nowhere. Just like that, tables have been turned, and RMC are electrified yet again. And that came off of information that Baloisky was in the top lane, clearing minion waves. Blacklist said, we go for this now and we turn it around.
And what a great play at that. Niall all alone, they were able to take him off, and that was it. Luke goes for another, you know, balls against the wall play there, but ends up getting caught off guard. Blacklist with the game back in their hands. With that, they're going to go ahead and grab a couple more of these turrets in the tier two. It's now Geek Fam's turn to be on the defense. Backs against the wall here, but one thing's for sure. They have all the items they need to actually win this team fight as they get prepped up for the defense. But it will come down to playing around the full barrage from Oheb like we saw previously. Can they keep it together as the Lord marches in? All right. Blacklist International. Do they play this safe or do they go for a huge play? Geek Fam definitely going to play a safe. They just need to get the Lord out of here. They've only lost one inhibitor, but that will give Blacklist International an advantage over the map. All Still. right. Okay, Blacklist International can actually continue applying this pressure so they can get inhibitors, as we mentioned, get resources, start choking out. Oh, there we go! Oh, oh, what? Blacklist is going into the backside. Bloiski gonna get the wild charge on the tower for the full barrage comes out. Luke trying to dodge it, trying to get out of range. Wow. Geek Fam with the Nether Realm, able to survive, but still lose one. Bloiski off the map. That's literally covering fire. Yeah. Like that full barrage covering fire, immortor immortality popped on Edward, and they keep Geek Fam at bay. So he stays with his life, and now the focus, this last base turret, to fully expose the base of Geek Fam. As they get ready, turret's gonna fall here, and they're happy with that. Blacklist relentless right now. They've taken everything they can from Geek Fam. How do they respond? Uh. As we look at the instant replay, Geek Fam now have to start dishing out more of the surprises because now we see Blacklist International telling Geek Fam, hey, we can dish out surprises too. Surprise calls. You think we're going to be slower in terms of the macro? Hey, it looks like that you don't have your roamer in the Lord pit. We're going to go for the Lord. Hey, it looks like our XP laner can get a massive setup with a penalty zone. Hey, we're going to go for it. Look, your roamer's gone again. So now Blacklist uh, are playing Geek Fam's game. And they're saying, we can do better as well, better than great. These two teams are putting on an absolute show, but it has gotten to the point where they have both proven one big play might be the decider. Yeah, again, as we go ahead and get ready for this Lord take, it's going to be pulled over to Blacklist International side. Geek Fam trying to get a position, but right now, Renegade just keeping them at bay the best he can. Nether Realm being held by UA here. Could change the course of the fight. Lord's gonna go ahead and reset for now. Geek Fam can still possibly steal the Lord away in this exchange against Blacklist International. They take things very slowly. Yep. Marky's positioning also gonna be crucial here. Yeah, see, you see the side lane minions of Blacklist International are gonna get pushed out a little bit more. They have minion advantage there. In the mid lane, that's where Luke's Lapu Lapu is getting parked because he's in the best position to clear way fast, but at the same time, go for a gank if Blacklist International decide to push forward. Come off from a pincer angle, 18, 16k, it's gonna, they're gonna go for it. Oh, Sensui is gonna get knocked up there. Luke into the back side, oh. locking on him, but the heavy spin forces Nile away. It's a 50-50, who's gonna take it? Luke gets a three-man stun on three bows oh. of Saves the day, the big brain man. But now Geek is on the run. Blacklist want to try to take him down. You take Lord, but we take your lives. Yeah. Two members fall. Blacklist International. The Lord doesn't matter if we can take you all. The Lord, but for what? One big play. But it was one big baloy that got the Lord for Geek Fam. But Blacklist will burn this quick. They will have a two man advantage. Over Geek Fam! Are they gonna go for this? The finish, the knockoff, the penalty zone misses. But a boy UA, takes a ton UA. of damage. UA goes down, Marky. Trying to save the day, along with Luke. The full barrage comes out. Oh, Marky, oh, Marky, Marky. Marky. to the side. He's looking for more. Boy, back up. Luke there. The shadow stampede. Get the back. Jay, oh. Looking for the knockup. Able to lock on. Marky still there. Sent in a little bit of trouble. They've saved the day. Geek Fam survive. Another wave. What a defense from Geek Fam once again. Marky able to avoid the full barrage from Ohead keeps Ooh. them in the game as they'll know they make their way to the mid lane. What a flicker that was Ooh. from Marky. Yeah. At the right time, Marky is deathless. The solution. They found a problem and they have the Marky to answer it. Now, Blacklist will have to defend the back and forth, the seesaw, the drama. Is this <laughs> where it ends? Or will it continue again? Geek Fam goes in. 
They crack down the inhibitor and a wild charge paired up with the brave oh. spider. Luke looking for the stun, but he's pinned against the wall. Geek Fam now on the run. Edward able to get the oh, zone, but out comes the nether realm. They're gonna be able to get away from this. Luke in a little bit of trouble, able to dash back. Black there on the chase. Oh. The final barrage. Luke takes a shot to the oh. face. Barky oh, as yeah. well. Geek Fam in shambles. Blacklist International changing UA! the fate of game two. UA finds another one. Blowski all alone, a boy. Back at the base, back at the crystal. Blacklist International, you mentioned the pendulum. Well, they are the swing. It doesn't end there, it does go again. And now Blacklist have the right set, unless Geek Fam can defend once more. All right, can Geek Fam do this? They need a little more time, Edward, able to get the penalty zone. They want to finish it, the minions locked down. The final barrage just for salt in the wound. And Blacklist International takes game number two. And it's one to one, as we expected in the epic matchup between Geek Fam and Blacklist International. We do not get Super Bowl halftime shows in MLBB Esports, but this right here is the closest we'll get sports entertainment at its finest. Two teams not wanting to back down. Welcome to the M5 World Championship yet again. This was one of the greatest games we've had the honor to cast. Once again, we're going to have this broken down further by our panelists over there on the analyst stand. Leo, Mirko, take it away.